That means why? Oh, no, that means the ceiling, no. yes. Not here. Because you will be stopped by that. Not oh, here, not now, not yeah, now. No. Luke, the extreme, yeah. Join me. And together we shall take on the galaxy. I will never join you. Write us something new that's not connected to the Mando timeline, a fresh new trilogy for Star Wars. Okay. I've had this idea about a Sith planet in the unknown regions, very difficult to find. And the Sith planet has abandoned the rule of two and become a massive cultural civilization. For the first time in Star Wars, we explore a whole city where Sith is the way. The dark side is the normal thing that children are raised into. We get to see a Sith training temple. We get to see a Sith leadership of seven council lords who are corrupt and secretive. But what if a handful of youngsters reject the corrupt leadership of the Sith Lords? What if for the first time we see what it looks like when dark side users are tempted to the light? What they have been told is the most evil place to go. We want to start a whole new Star Wars saga where the dark side is what's normal. This is where we start. This is how kids are raised. Kingdom of the Sith. So I'm gonna have everybody try to follow along with me real quick. So Palpatine needs Padme dead, but he doesn't want to do it himself. So he asks Count Dooku to go kill Padme, but Count Dooku doesn't want to do it himself. So Count Dooku asks Jango Fett to go kill Padme, but Jango Fett doesn't want to do it himself. So he asks his shapeshifter friend to go kill Padme, but the shapeshifter sends a robot to go kill Padme. And if you really want to be an asshole and get even more granular, the droid says, I'll send these little bugs to go kill Padme. Palpatine sends a man who sends a man who sends a shapeshifter who sends a robot who sends bugs to go kill Padme. And what's even funnier is that after they chase the robot and the shapeshifter, Django has a chance to go kill Padme. But instead, he goes out of his way to assassinate the person he hired to assassinate more news about the Kenobi show just came out. There will supposedly be six episodes in each season and each episode will be an hour long. And if you thought that wasn't good enough, Hayden Christensen will star in all six episodes. Honestly, I don't see how this can get any better. So when they were making the original Star Wars, Carrie Fisher came out in her Princess Leia costume and George Lucas looked at her and said, you can't wear a bra under that dress. And she was like, why not? And he said, because there's no underwear in space. Like A plus on the commitment to the movie, but that's a little creepy. Toy Story 2 was almost deleted. Like we were this close to just not having this at all because somebody fucked up and erased 90% of the movie. And then they went to check and the backup drive failed. Like the only reason we have this is because a worker was on maternity leave and had a cop 
copy of the movie at home. For one of the scenes in Poltergeist, actress Jo Beth Williams had to swim around in the mud and shit with like bones and skulls and stuff, but what she didn't know at the time was those were not props. Those are real fucking dead bodies because it was cheaper to buy from the medical supply center than it was to buy rubber corpses. So they had this girl swimming with fucking dead people and they didn't tell her until afterwards. If that was me, I would have fucking killed everyone there. Oh my god, you like Star Wars? What, are you a Jedi or a Sith? Um... I'm fucking gay. On today's episode of Thing That Made Me Sad Even Though It Probably Wasn't Supposed To. When John asked me to come in and, and meet with him about something Star Wars, literally something Star Wars. I was born in 75, so I am a product of a Star Wars imagination. I was shaped by these movies, and I'm seeing all of this, and I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> who am I gonna, what, what, who do you want me to audition for? <laughs> <laughs> the bug? <laughs> or the robot? And he's like, you're the Mandalorian. Well, in books and movies and video games, pirates always seem to be straight. And if you ask me, that's a crying shame, because pirates all were gay. Oh, they were gay and queer and trans and pan and bi. The heteronormative pirate myth is a fucking lie. And they married each other on their pirate ships and kissed with the taste of rum on their lips. And they held hands while they raided towns, because pirates all were gay. Oh, they were gay and queer and trans and pan and bi. The heteronormative pirate myth is a fucking lie. They flew a rainbow skull and crossbones flag and they fell in love and they dressed in drag and when they walked the plank it was more of a sachet cause pirates all were gay. They wore glitter on their hooks and their eye patch and put gay bars on their treasure map and Blackbeard never needed a beard because it was fine to be gay. I tell y'all these kids ain't shit. Episode 9, I'm raising the cycle. Me and my son are wrestling in the floor last night. I put his little ass in a guillotine just because sometimes you got to remind your kids you are not to be messed with. Out of nowhere, my daughter jumps off the couch and just, whoo, elbows me in the top of the head. I'm like, oh, shit. I started seeing stars and Tweety Birds. Shit was not good. I jump up. I'm like, that's it, little girl. You have just assaulted a government official. Your little ass is going to jail tonight. This girl runs over, grabs my phone, chucks it at me. She said, go on, call the police, daddy. I said, girl, if I call the police, you're going to jail tonight. Her little ass flops in the floor, grabs her first and says, why you hit me, daddy? Why you hit me? I said, go get your little ass out of the floor. I ain't even put my hands on you. She said, but that ain't what I'm going to tell the police when they show up. I said, little girl, you don't get out of my face. You know the police ain't going to believe you. She said, they're going to believe you over a five-year-old little girl crying. Get your little ass out this floor. Go to your room. You going to do me like that? She stood up laughing and said, when you got it, you got it. Shut your little ass. Well, boys, I fucking sent her a little too fucking hard, bud. I really hope I, oh, fuck, bud. Damn, I hope my radiator's good. What do you think about pedophiles? Fuck them. Yeah. Wait. <laughs>